2020 has shown us what we've known for years. U.S. militarism at home and abroad is destroying our communities. It is time to redefine our collective sense of national security. People in the U.S. and around the world are suffering. Militarism is directly responsible. Real leadership from those who are most impacted is what's needed now. More than 53% of the U.S. federal budget goes to the Pentagon. That's more than the next 10 countries combined. Imagine what would happen if we instead invested in things such as health care, housing, jobs, and education. Things that give us true human security. U.S. foreign policy needs a major overhaul. As we've seen with North Korea and Iran, the U.S. approach to solving problems, whether through the use of sanctions, coercion, or the threat of military force, has not worked. In fact, it's caused greater harm and more instability. Our vision of foreign policy prioritizes collective care and well-being, climate resilience, diplomacy, self-determination, and reparations for those who have been most harmed by U.S. policies. It's time to democratize foreign policy and center the leadership of people most impacted by U.S. militarism. Only by connecting struggles at home and abroad, and by ending militarism in our communities, can we even begin to create a more just and peaceful world.